all hamburger juice. It's your boy, Smoke Streeters Project. Check, check. All right, fam. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a review of the Uncanny X-Men Beast. And here is the, the poster it came in, kind of reminiscent of back in the day. And here's the back again, reminiscent of the back of the day. Dr. Henry McCoy, the general giant of the X-Men, using his mutant physicality and genius mind for the betterment of humans and mutants alike. So here is Beast, the classic Beast, the one I wanted. They made a Beast similar to this. Um, I don't have it. Had a different head scope that's down um, that you can see on the uh, the bottom with the, the extra hands. But he didn't come with the cloak. He didn't the cloak. He did not come with the coat. He did not come with the two vials or vases, whatever you want to call it. Um, and he didn't come with the glasses, which is always a necessity to have in regards to the beast. So let's get a slow motion of the beast. So here we go, hitting them with the slow motion. And this jacket, I actually had a jacket for this other beast that I had, I'll show you later, but I misplaced the other jacket, I don't know why, so, well not why, but I don't know where I put that jacket for some reason, I just can't find it, but yeah, he, he looks good, let's get a closer look at him. So I'm going freehand it for a little bit, because I want you to get a good look at all this texture, it looks good, the glasses are staying on pretty good, and I'm show you something else I did. With the face, it gave him a little bit more of that beasty edge. Um, the, the different color of the blues look great. Um, I'm going to take the jacket off, but I just wanted to get you, let you see a real good look of this figure. This is an awesome figure. The teeth um, look good. So he comes with the, the four hands. As you can see, there was a hand right here where he was holding one of the, vi uh, the veils, vases. Man jacked up one of the vases here and he was also holding one here they're slightly different but they're still able to hold them as you saw before earlier he also has this punching hand right this punching hand right here and this hand that's um the palm for him to be able to stand up and do those different movements uh handstands then he has this face here which was the face that um that beast before him on the, basically the same body came out with um, I didn't really care for it as okay as screaming face, but you know, it just, this, it really didn't just send, show me beast like this face does. All right, so let's take off the jacket and get a better look at the figure. All right, so we got the jacket off and you can see all the different textures all over his body. You can see the fur all over there. The different colors it looks nice. The trunks, straight. Uh, a tiny bit of a blotch right here, uh, right here, and the uh, the X Men logo of yellow. But for the most part, it looks good. The hands look good. Let's look at the back. Same thing there. I really appreciate the. The amount of detail that they use in in the fur, making it look very very real. From head to toe, it looks you no, know, it looks good. It's a real good, a real good figure to me. The best beast to date. Again, we're gonna look back at him now. I'm gonna take since I was talking that off. I'm gonna show you the slight difference that I did with my beast. Um, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit there. As you can see, my beast has pupils. And when you buy him, he doesn't have pupils. And I thought that was something that was um, needed and I was a little nervous on doing it, on whether I'd be able to, but it um, wasn't really that hard. And if you want to see what I use, this, this, is, this is it right here. So this blue Sharpie right here, uh, you get it in Walmart, it comes in packs and whatnot is what I use. It has the little has the little tip right there. And I just took it and gave it a dab. And that was that. 
And with that, I had my pupils. And I think it came out pretty good for Beast. So let's, since we got, we went over uh, the basic of Beast, let's look at, you know, the other head swap. And let's look at the hands. And let's see if we can get him to do a handstand and then some comparisons. So here's the other head. And what I noticed was that when I was going to swap them, that I did not do the, the pupils for this particular head. So when I had it paused, when I was taking the head off, I just applied the Sharpie to the head, to the to the eyes, just just now. So as you can see, it's very it was very easy. You know, just have to. It's easy to do. You just have to know have a little patience and uh, applying the the dot. Cause all you need is like one. Just let it just dab it. Just dab it on that bad boy, and uh, you know you had the eyes. And I think that that little those two little dots I feel makes such a big difference. So see the head. And let's let's see how the other hands look. All right. So the Punching the fist, punching hand, whatever you want to call it, looks good. The color is still basically the same. He has, uh, you know, he has the movement. You can go like that. Come down this much was pretty good. Oh, man, that head on tighter. Then uh, you have this hand, which you can call a slapping hand if you want. And uh, let's see if we can get him to stand up. So I was able to get him to stand up, but uh, it took a while trying to find the right pose. But it looks pretty good in this pose, I must say. And just in case you want to know, you can get him with the angry face and the glasses on, but it's a little harder to put that on there. Yeah, so Beast out here trying to figure out some stuff, doing some work, but you know, even scientists get hungry as well. So Beast up here getting him a slice, baby. Yeah, that looks like some old pepperoni. You know, time some comparisons. You know, old Logan busting up in there like, "Hey, bud, where's my slice?" And Beast like, "What you talking about?" He's like, "My slice, man. Let me get that. Let me get some of that pizza." And Beast is like, "Nah, man. It's all mine. Working hard in here." And Logan's like, "What?" Logan's like, "I'm going to get that pizza, bub." And Beast over there eating his pizza. He's like, "Man, I ain't even sweating. You come get some if you want some." So we can see the team coming in because they hear the commotion. And uh, they trying to doggone calm down Logan and Beast. But, yeah, let's finally get to the comparisons to see how he really measures up. All right, we're going to start off with Gambit and Rogue, the quote-unquote lovers that can't be together. And Beast looks real good next to them. He looks real good. Is Storm and Colossus, and you know, even though Colossus is towering over Beast, you know, Beast still has that good size and lets you know he is an imposing figure as well. And of course, Storm is not that big, but she is definitely, definitely powerful. So they, the three of them look great together as well. So here's Jubilee and the Pocket Elite. Freeze Man that I got off of Big Bad, which I use now in place for my Ice Man, um, and that's a good size. They both, they both, they both look good. And here is Gene and Scott, you know, the leader of the X Men and his his lady love, so to speak, with all their triangle mess going on. Yeah, they all look good with the blues and the yellows. And here's the Wolverine that came out, that came with the uh, tape deck box and uh, the shading. Uh, of course, this is the Hugh Jackman head I got on there. And uh, these are not the claws that came with them or the hands that came with them, fists, so to speak. Those are from the Hugh Jackman as well. I just popped those on because I like how they look. Regardless of whether they don't have the, club, the uh, gloves on or not. I like these claws better than the ones that actually came with it. And the head with the huge jacket on there, you know, sets it off as well. But they look good together as well. The, the team looks great. Okay, technically, this is not my Xavier. I just got a, uh, the new Agent Ross body uh, stand in with a different head. The uh, Vulture is actually 
the vulture uh, head I have on there. I haven't gotten around to a actual Xavier that I need to get with the the, the yellow floating chair. But until then, this is my stand in Xavier, and he still looks good with Beast as well. So I gotta I gotta say I gotta say this 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 X Men team in the nineties, the Uncanny X Men. Looking dino might right now. Looking dino might. Um, I love how everything is looking with this team. Um, of course, like I said, I need to you know to get an actual Xavier. But for now, this stand-in will do the job. And yeah, man, it's looking good. This beast is an excellent addition to my X-Men team. And here's another shot of them. I mean, well, another shot of the X-Men and Wolverine with the cowl on to give an even better look of the, the 90s Uncanny X-Men look. And final comparison is with this Toy Biz Beast and Toy Biz Wolverine that came with the, uh, that came with the jet. Um, as you can see, they kept Beast about the same size, and I wouldn't mind seeing a Beast like this and a suit like this, so Beast cannot... Don't have to just be running around in his drawers all the time. He can actually have him outfit as well. And then what was cool that this beast actually had a computer, um, a little portable laptop right there, which is which was cool. So I would like to see, man, my bad. I would like to see a beast like this, um, a beast like this at some point. He's an excellent representation of that '90s X-Men beast. So if you're trying to complete that team, I advise you to get your hands on this guy. So once again, like a fat kid in dodgeball, I'm out, baby. And don't forget to like and subscribe.